Hello everyone. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me know if you can hear me and see me. Praise God. Praise God. Hello everyone. Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Y'all know how we do it. Let me know if you can hear me. Mic check something. Hallelujah. Praise God. How you doing, Prophetess Chainer? How you doing? Yes, I feel better. So I thought, okay, I've been writing down so much stuff. I said, okay, God, I think I know it's time for me to get up and um, push through whatever. Praise God. Praise God. So one of the things, and if you see the title, I want everybody to share this now. Y'all know I'm not a type of person about numbers, but this, I want you to share every time you get a chance. I want you to tag people because what I'm getting ready to say, is, I mean, everything is real, but this is a thus said the Lord. And I'm really perturbed. What does perturbed mean? I, I, I stay upset with the leaders. I stay upset with church folks. I say church folk. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. There's a difference. Because of the fact God was showing me more and more so, these things are getting ready to happen. We all know that. But more so, instead of the church getting ready for it, the church is still talking about prosperity, blessings, and, and come on somebody, hallelujah, I, I'm all for being prosperous, I'm all for being blessed, but I'd rather be prepared, come on somebody, hallelujah, I'd rather be prepared for what's coming, y'all don't hear what I'm saying, y'all don't hear what I'm saying, so I got a problem with them, and you can tell them I say so, as a matter of fact, I hope everybody hear me, I got a problem with you if you're still talking about prosperity, I got a problem with you if you're still talking about blessings, I got a problem with you, and so does God. Because you are not preparing people. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And most of y'all scared, truth be told, because you know you ain't right. Mm. See, when you ain't right, you scared of what's coming. Because I'm telling you, these people are here. You know, I put just three people on here. I put three groups, China, Africa, I think Russia. Let me tell you something. There's South America. There's, I mean, every army that you can think of in every country, they're here. And if you, uh, as a matter of fact, when you look in the stores, I want y'all to start looking around the different nationalities. They're more so here. These are army people. These, they're all under the United Nations. And what's going to happen with martial law, they're here to help. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all know what I'm saying. They help, they're here to help usher it in. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm just being honest with you. And so here's the deal. What we're supposed to be doing, we're supposed to be equipping the saints. How do we equip the saints? Because you're supposed to be getting in the Bible. You're supposed to be having prayer shut ins. You're supposed to be praying all night long. Time out for all the ridicule Time out for all the entertainment Time out for all the accolades Time out for all the paperwork Some of y'all still wanting to be doctors Some of y'all still wanting to be this Some of y'all still wanting to be that Come on somebody Where's the power at? Don't give me no don't, don't give me no accolades I'm going to tell y'all right now And don't give me no awards I want the power of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah Because when this stuff start And it will What you going to do When they come for you Because they're here They ain't coming They're here people They're here I mean, I, I, I can tell y'all so much stuff, but y'all not ready for that. Y'all not ready to really receive everything because it'll put you in fear. And that's why God is so good. What God is doing is God is saying, Deanna, prepare their hearts. Deanna, tell them the truth. And I, I know it's not totally received, but you know what? I know you feel it in your spirit. You could play with me all day long. You know doggone well. One thing about the spirit of God, it hits you right where it's supposed to hit you. Whether you like it, whether you acknowledge it, it don't even matter. Come on, somebody. Because most of y'all, and I'm just going to keep it real. I have learned in this journey that it's not that y'all don't love God. It's not that you don't love the people of God. Y'all have a problem with who God used. Mm, did I hit you? Y'all have a problem with who God used as if you God. Mm, Lord have mercy. Church, if we don't stop now, these people, it's going to be so easy for them. And to everybody going to end up in FEMA camps. It ain't supposed to be that easy. It's supposed to have some remnant. It's supposed to have some power. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Some real power. Come on, somebody. All I'm saying is I pray that the 40 day fast is ending tomorrow, but I pray that you keep on fasting. I pray even if it's two days a week and I'm going to start a three day fast like after two weeks. I told y'all that we're going to start for three days with nothing but water. That's how I know. And God didn't give me a time ending. That's how I know something is getting ready to come down the pipeline. And if you're looking at the news and all that, if y'all don't see that everything that has been prophesied, it's here. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I know y'all loved that last president. huh? Y'all love him so much until guess what? I'm here to tell you something. Some of you may not receive it, and that's fine. And this is the dust said the Lord. Y'all going to get what y'all want. 
Trump is going to, they're they going to get him out of office. God didn't show me how. They're going to get Trump out of office. And guess who's coming back? Come on, somebody. Come on, say it with me. Say it with me. I ain't saying that name. The devil is a lie. And when he come back, my God, my God. Y'all going to really want, y'all going to find out who y'all chose. Because he wants to be king. And he will be king of the new world order. He wants to be on the throne. They will build him a throne. They will make a golden statue out of him. Everybody going to have to bow down. This going to be just like in the movies. The only thing is, it's going to be real. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all ain't ready, huh? People like myself and the resistance, because that's what they're going to call us, the resistance. Y'all know where they're going to throw us at, right? Or kill us. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What? You scared? If you scared, get up off my life. Hallelujah. Because I'm here for the. I'm, I'm here to tell the truth, honey. Ain't no shame in my game. I got to tell it how God tell me to tell it. Don't care who like it. Hallelujah. Y'all know I don't play. And I'm just telling you. I hope y'all ready because it, it's, it's getting closer and closer and closer. Um, a couple, about 10, 10 other states then adopted the chip now. This stuff going to move so fast. And here's the deal. This is what they're saying on CNN. And I confirmed it with God. They're talking about, they're not asking. They're saying by the end of this year, everyone will have a chip. Do you understand what they're saying? They're not asking. They say, by the end of this year, everyone. So what is that saying? They're going to pull something out of their sleeve to make it mandatory. Now, everybody's talking about this, that. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all know that's the mark of the beast. It's, it's all coming just like in Revelations. You won't be able to buy. You won't be able to sell. You won't be able to go to the store without that chip. Come on, somebody. They, they did it in the cards first. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why when I got that card in the mail, I didn't want to use my bank account. But, hey, you got to use it, right? There, this is going to be able to control everything from the money to everything. You will own nothing. This will be total communist. I'm telling you, it's coming. And my thing is, I just want you to be prepared. I want you to be prepared. How do we prepare? You better get close to God. And if you fronting, you better stop fronting. And if you sinning, you better stop sinning because you ain't gonna have no power if you sin. That's what the enemy have came in and filter, infiltrated. I can't even talk. Infiltrated our churches. It looks like God. It sounds like God, but it's not God. And how you know? Because people are not being healed and delivered. Some of you are under leaders that are in adultery. Some of you are under leaders that are gay. Some of you are under leaders. That all it's about is the money. They don't care about your soul. And you go in there every Sunday. Getting tainted and tainted and tainted. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I'm just being honest with you. Not trying to hurt you, but I'm trying to tell you. Y'all better recognize what time it is. Because if you don't have the power of the Holy Ghost when this stuff... And I got to tell you the vision. The vision is I saw people running around, you know, trying to hide. You ain't going to be able to hide nowhere. Because trust me, these people are here. And they know what they're doing. But some people was taking a gun. And you know what they was doing with the gun? They were actually killing themselves. Because they couldn't take what's happening. I pray that don't, that don't be you. I pray that you understand what I'm really saying. Because I am serious about what I see and what I hear. 49 years old and God ain't never lied to me. And, and he's trying to warn you. You know what I'm saying? Come closer, he say. Come, come higher. Go deeper. Strip yourselves. Examine yourselves. Come closer to God. Get away from this world. Be ye separate, he says. Some of you have been tainted. That's why you act the way you do. That's why you say what you do. You better repent and just ask God. Say, God, cleanse me. God, sanctify me. God, consecrate me. It's time, people. Because here's the deal. Are you really ready to meet Jesus Christ? Are you really ready? Because there's only two kingdoms on earth. Kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. So, I'm going to leave you with this question. Which one do you really belong to? Hmm? You ain't got to answer me. But you will have the answer. So, God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I thank, you, I thank everyone for the praying for me. Because I've been very much under the weather. I mean, ooh, ooh. But I pushed through that thing. But, um... I'm just here to tell the truth, and I'm going to keep telling it as long as I have breath in my body. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Y'all know what time it is. Roll out soldiers, because that is who you are.